the Eightfold Noble Path. The essential principles of the Buddhist way of life are outlined in the Eightfold Noble Path. The Buddha himself described the path as the means of overcoming suffering in life. The stories in this collection are based around these principles. Each one highlights ways to help your child understand each principle's meaning and truth. The eight principles can be grouped together in three main subjects, wisdom, ethics, and concentration. Wisdom. The great wisdom of the Buddha's ideas is symbolized in Tibetan Buddhism by an endless knot. His eternal wisdom, like the knot, has no beginning or end. Under the grouping of wisdom, we find two principles of the path, right view and right intention. Right view centers on developing a deep understanding of the Four Noble Truths. There are two important aspects of right view you can help your child to explore. Firstly, how everyone in the world experiences suffering. And secondly, how suffering can be alleviated. The idea that everyone suffers may seem a harsh lesson, but it's the basis from which compassion and empathy then flow. Right intention helps us understand the importance of discipline and determination on the path to self-improvement. It focuses on how we need to make a commitment to self-improvement in order to grow and mature. Ethics. The principles of the path we find under this grouping include right speech, right action, and right livelihood. Right speech involves thinking about the impact of our speech on others. At a basic level, this involves not lying and not speaking harshly or unkindly. And these are ideas most parents already work on with their children. At a deeper level, right speech asks us to speak thoughtfully rather than thoughtlessly. Right action asks us to behave morally and ethically with everyone we encounter in our daily lives. We must not harm others or steal from them. Right livelihood focuses on earning a living in a way that is ethical and doesn't involve harming other people. Children can be encouraged to think about the path that might inspire them in later life. Concentration The final three principles are right mindfulness, right effort, and right concentration. Right mindfulness asks us to give our full attention to the present moment, simply observing what arises without judgment. It asks us to develop our concentration so that our mind can rise above the pettiness and distractions of daily life and learn true awareness. Right effort and right concentration involve focusing on the thoughts and actions that help us become more enlightened. These include compassion, kindness, and gratitude. Right effort involves the development of self-awareness. Right concentration asks us to think about our behavior and actively manage our thoughts so that we avoid thinking negatively about ourselves and others. The Tibetan Buddhist symbol of the wheel symbolizes the interconnection between things and reminds us that our behavior affects those around us and in turn our karma. For children, the aim is not to ask them to repress negative thoughts. Rather, the idea is to get children to reflect on the meaning such thoughts might have. In this book, the moral at the end of each tale helps highlight the stage of the path the story explores. As you read it with your child, you may like to refer back to these pages to consider the implications of that stage of the path and discuss it together.